welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the beginning of this topic, we discussed the key statement which will guide the beginning and the end of this topic. And that is in every conductor carrying current, there's a magnetic field around it. We have discussed three main ways in which we can determine the direction of the magnetic field around a straight conductor carrying current. One of it was the ampere swimming rule. The other one was Maxwell's corkscrew rule. Then the third one was Fleming's right hand rule for a straight conductor carrying current. Now, what if you have a conductor which is not straight and you have a conductor which is a, a solenoid like in this case? A solenoid, remember, is a coil of insulated copper wire. Now, if you have a solenoid like this we have on the screen here, and you want to determine the magnetic field around it, if it's carrying current, then here we are going to use Fleming's right hand rule for a solenoid carrying current. And here we are going to find out that this solenoid, when it's carrying current, it behaves like a magnet with a north pole and a south pole. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define the term a solenoid and then state Fleming's right hand grip rule for a current carrying solenoid. Then attempt two or three examples concerning solenoid carrying current. A solenoid can be defined in two different ways. And the first way in which you can define a solenoid is that it's a wire wound into long cylindrical coil with many connected loops. However, you can also define a solenoid as a coil of many turns of insulated copper wire. So for you to have a solenoid, then you must have a copper wire and this copper wire must be insulated. Then now, if you wound it into many turns, then it's going to make what we call a solenoid. And on this, the screen here, the first diagram and the second diagram, this is a very perfect example of a solenoid. However, in the first diagram, the turns are almost in contact with each other. In the second diagram, there's a gap between the turns which are making this solenoid. And we are going to see later the effect which they will have when they interact with the electric field. The one where we have very small spaces between it, like in this first diagram, is going to make a very strong electromagnet within a very short time. Then the one with gaps is going to make a relatively weaker magnet like the, than the first one. So if you allow an electric current to flow through a solenoid, it's going to make the solenoid to behave like a magnet where it will have North Pole at one end and south pole at the other end of that solenoid. Then the polarities of that magnet which will be formed by the solenoid can be predicted using Fleming's right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current, which states that if a coil carrying electric current is held in the right hand, say so that the fingers encircle the loop while pointing in the direction of the current flow, then the thumb points in the direction of the North Pole. I have an illustration here on the screen. Like in this case, if you have a solenoid, this is a wire, then this wire is connected to this solenoid up here, where current is moving up in front here like this. So if you allow this current to flow, and then in front here it's flowing up like that, then now you will come with your right hand, this is your right hand, and then you, you held or you grasp this solenoid with your right hand. Then now you make sure these fingers are pointing in the same direction where the current is flowing in the solenoid. Then automatically your thumb will point to the north pole of the magnet which is being formed. In this case, if you insert a magnetic material inside this solenoid, it's going to acquire uh, magnetism or it will get magnetized. And it, the, this side where the thumb is pointing will uh, assume the north pole of the magnet. And then the other side will assume the south pole. 
So in this case, we can use this, this uh, framing is right hand rule for a uh, solenoid carrying current to predict the magnetism, all the, the temporalities of the magnet formed, especially electromagnets, which are temporal magnets, which we are going to study in the next few lessons. So it's very important to note that a solenoid carrying current produces a magnetic field like that of a bar magnet, where one end of that solenoid will behave like North Pole and it will supply the magnetic field lines, and the other end will behave as South Pole and it will be the sink for the magnetic field. So in this case, like we have on the screen here, if we have a battery, this battery is going to supply direct current. And then in this case, we have a switch at this point. We have a rail start. And this current will be flowing from the positive terminal. This is the positive where we have a long then negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. So this current will be flowing in this uh, direction. Then on the solenoid in the front part is going to move down. In the back part is going to move up. So front down, back up, back up, front down, like that. If you complete this like this, then what you are going to realize, if you held or if you hold this solenoid with your right hand, in such a way that the fingers point in the direction of the current in this solenoid, like you can decide to hold it from down up in such a way that the fingers are in the back. When they are in the back, they are moving upward. Or you can decide to hold down, up, down in such a way that the fingers are moving down in front of this solenoid like the current is flowing, then the thumb automatically will point on the right hand side of this screen where we will have our North Pole. Then the other end will have the South Pole. And in this case, the, if we draw the field line, this is our magnetic field, magnetic field line. If we draw the magnetic field line, they will form a complete loop from the North Pole to the South Pole. And then in this case, the magnetic field inside is moving from left to the right. So in this case, this one behaves like a magnet. And if you insert a magnetic material inside, it's going to get magnetized and it will assume the polarities like in this case, on the right hand side of the screen, it will be North Pole. And then on the left hand side, it will be South Pole. So let's handle one example. Then we are going to do more examples later. The question reads, complete the diagram to show the direction of current and determine the North Pole and South Pole of the solenoid below. So in this case, for you to identify the North Pole and South Pole or to complete this diagram, first you must show the direction of current in the wire and in the solenoid. So in this case, for you to know where current is moving from and where it's going to, then you have to identify the, the positive terminal and negative terminal of this battery. In this case, we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Now, this current is going to originate from the positive terminal. Remember what we discussed in simple cell and circuit. Then here it's going to move up. Here it's going to move up, front, down. Then behind up, so all the front uh, wires on this solenoid current is going to flow down like that. So current here is going to flow down. It means on the back it's moving up. And now this, when you are doing this, you are completing the diagram. So here already you have completed your diagram by showing the direction of current in the loops of that solenoid. And now another question was, determine the North Pole and the South Pole of the solenoid. Now look at this. Take your hand and assume that you are holding or hold this solenoid with your right hand in such a way that the finger points in the direction of current in the solenoid. If you do that, what you are going to realize, if you hold, if you held with your right hand, the fingers in front should be pointing down and behind they should be pointing up. And in that process, the thumb will be pointing in this direction. So this will be North Pole, then automatically this one is the South Pole. However, we can still use the clock rule. Remember the clock rule that we discussed? that if you observe from one end of a solenoid, the last loop current is moving in a clockwise direction. Like in this case here, it's moving up, 
down like that, that is a clockwise direction, then that will be south pole. Then on the other end, if you feel the last loop and the current is moving in anticlockwise direction, it's moving up, then down in front like that, then that will be the north pole. So you can either use Fleming's right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current or the clock rule and you will determine the direction of the magnetic uh, field and the direction of the north pole and south pole of this uh, material. So in this case, if you are told to, to draw the magnetic field lines, then inside this solenoid, the field lines should be moving from negative, like in this case here, inside they will be moving to the right like that, then outside they should be joining to this end like that, from north pole to south pole, then here it will join like that, then here it will be like that. In this case, it, south pole is coming in, north pole, is going all moving out. So that will mark the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss uh, electromagnets.